Alrighty, what is up? It is me, your boy, 8-Bit Joseph, and today we are playing some more Pokemon Soul Silver. Yes, guys, uh, same shirt and everything as yesterday because I'm recording this in the same day. It's actually nighttime now, as you guys can see, also on the DS and everything. And the reason why I wanted to hop back into this is because, you know, I just haven't got enough of the nostalgia from Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, I'm still using the recorder that I used for the uh, last video. Uh, I know now that I actually cannot hit the recording button until I'm actually finished with the video because if I do, it tries to clip it into different parts. Uh, so, you know, there will be some parts on the, uh, what is this guy going to say? Wait up, what's the hurry? Right? Some guy wearing glasses was looking uh, for you. See for yourself, he's waiting for you at the Pokemart. You know what, dude? I forgot all about that guy. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, so I can't click on the, uh, the recorder while I'm recording these videos because it tries to clip it into different parts. So in the next video, you guys may hear me talk real quick and then stop. Uh, it's nothing like bad or nothing. It wasn't the recorder messing up. I just didn't know that you couldn't click on the uh, button over there to look at the time while doing all that. So, all right. So, there's uh, this guy. Long time no see, 8-bit. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would really like uh, you to take care of an egg. Yes, yes is the only thing I can say. Receive the egg from the assistant. After you left... Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than 8-Bit. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver... I mean, yeah, that's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, 8-Bit. Please take care of it. And of course, he's leaving. Good evening, 8-Bit. I have a package for you from your mom. Obtain the super potion. Wow, that is really early to be getting that. We look forward to your next visit. I have no further packages for you. We look forward to serving you again. Okay, so we don't have anything else right now. But, um, oh, and now we gotta watch this girl right here. My, oh my, that egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. Bro, y'all are some weird ass people. Like, I, like, honestly. I don't like the, the kimono girls or whatever. They're just so weird. Oh my gosh. What, wait up, what's the what's the hurry? You had some good Pokemon there. It must be from training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves. Obtained the Miracle Seed. Put the Miracle Seed in the item's pocket. Alright, so, since we do have a, you know, a Bell Sprout, I think we should just go ahead and give it to him. Because he only does have the move Vine Whip and Growth, and Vine Whip is, of course, a grass-type move. So now let's go. We got to fight some more people, get our levels up and everything. What are we fighting? A Wild Ekans on level four again? Weak sauce. All right, but let's go ahead and take out this Ekans. That way, so we can try to get our boy Sentrent leveled up to level 11. And also, we got to get uh, Hoot Hoot and him up to level 12 as well, because uh, Totodile just uh, overtook the gym with ease. All right, quick attack, and the Ekin shall fall. All right, 35 experience. We know, yeah, we know that's not gonna get him level up. But this trainer right here, try to go to the trainer, and I end up stopping here again. What is it, a whooper? Yuck, I hate whooper. One of the weirdest Pokemon, honestly. I, I don't know why people you know, be catching Wooper. He's just weird looking. Use Mud Sport. Well, bro, we don't got any electric types or anything that we're going to be doing to you. Aren't they immune to electric type moves? I'm pretty sure they are. And I guess that could be a good reason for me. You know, Mareep ain't going to be doing any damage anytime soon. I mean, and you keep doing Mud Sport, bro. I mean, that's why it failed. So get taken down. Especially Quagsire is weird, man. His tail looks like a hot dog. I think they did that on purpose. 
All right, now you got to verse this trainer right here. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? No, bro. I think I beat that gym leader, though. Whoa! So you should be no problem with your Rattatat on level 6. You're going down, son. Ha, use quick attack and you are slower than my Sin Trent. Quick attack again. We just gotta, you know, get these, uh, sin oh, well, we took him down. 72 experience. All right, now we can tr uh, trade into Hoot Hoot for the next two. And then one, 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 all the way down. Is about to send in Zubat. Well, Zubat's about to get scraped. All right, we got the good old Hoot Hoot on the field. Now, it's actually good we caught Hoot Hoot because Hoot Hoot is one of them Pokemon you can only catch at night. So uh, the fact that we were able to catch him, it's just good because he's a good Pokemon. Especially when he evolves into Noctow, Noctow. Alright, now let's go ahead and take down this level 8 Zubat. Still, still, uh, still asleep. Okay, so Roost actually has 10. It doesn't just have 5 like I thought. Like Synthesis. I think we may be able to take this Zubat down pretty easy. Uh, he may be just asleep through the whole attacks. And now he finally woke up. Yep, Leech Life kind of seen it coming. Zubat does not have a lot of moves. It's not very effective. And it barely gave him any inner, uh, any life back. I almost said energy. And there we go. Zubat destroyed. 91 experience. That's not bad. Defeated the youngster. You're strong. Well, bro, you know what they say. They don't, you know. My team is, uh, you know, what makes me, right? All right, so Totodile is not going to get used for a while. All right, now we got to battle this girl right here. Uh-huh, yeah. And, you know, pardon, Pokemon battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, all right. I'll accept your challenge. So we may not get to the second gym on this one, but we're definitely going to, you know, make it through here and get to the town. So these videos are definitely going to take longer than I thought they were uh, to complete. But, you know, it's going to be A-OK, -okay, and we're just going to go one step at a time. Hypnosis? Yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Who, who's getting those, hitting that hypnosis? Adorian fell asleep. Let's see how much Peck does to Nidorian. Uh, I mean, it does enough. That's all I'm worried about is just taking this person down. All right, we should be able to hit one more, and then, it's, and then it'll probably wake up. Yep, like I thought. Scratch, how much you're going to do? You did a pretty decent amount, but, you know, I'm still going to win. Nope, not yet. Tail Whip, that's probably getting a lower defense. Yep. I don't understand, bro. It's like Tail Whip, where they like flirting with the Pokemon, like, oh, look at my tail, going back and forth. Like, okay, bro, good for you. 100 experience, exactly. Pick Nigger Liz. Before I could get serious, I lost. And now you're going to ask about our phone number two. Oh, you're on a big journey to see the sights. Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? Dude, I was watching somebody. I want to hear about everything you've seen. There was one guy I was watching play. He accepted nobody's phone numbers. He was just like, nope, not happening. So the phone number and the pokey gear. I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. All right. Now we just got to keep going and fighting people. Hoot Hoot has not got the level up. Let me guess, Wooper again. Nope, actually a level four Ekans. I guess we can just try to take him down quick. Experience is experience. Use the Leer. What does I do? Lower attack. Nope, defense again. Wait, yeah, I know that. I said that earlier. I don't know. It's just hard to remember all the moves, you know. Since I'm further in the game on my other account, I'm trying to get familiarized with all this. 
All right, and there's gonna be a Fisher up here and we're gonna take on these guys. My Pokemon, freshly caught. Good for you, broski. Fisherman Henry send out Poliwag. He did water sport very early. Poliwag, uh, Poliwag is a very uh, quick Pokemon. Hypnosis and it hit. Good, good. That's what we need. The quicker we can take these people out, the better. Get our Pokemon level. Oh my gosh, I just realized we're fighting these fishers. Bellsprout is going to have a heyday because water Pokemon are weak to grass type. Man, he woke up after one hit. Uh, Bubble did not do a lot to, uh, to, uh, freaking hoot hoot. Yeah, that's not doing a lot, man. That's barely doing anything. Okay, now we just gotta do tackle. It's gonna. Oh wow, he actually put us to sleep. Oh no, that is not good at all. Who who is fast asleep, dude? Who who is sleeping at night? That's definitely, um, you know, unlike an owl to be sleeping at night. Usually they sleep in the day. We're going to try to do Roost that way so we can actually get some life back. Who who woke up? There we go. Now he's going to hit Roost. Woo! And he's going to get that life back. Who needs a potion when you have Roost? That tackle. And he's going to do Bubble again and we're going to be able to take him down. Oh wow, he actually uh, made our speed fall. Alright, down. Polywag fainted, 132 experience, good, good. And that's going to be the level up, so he's going to get the level 11. 211011. Right, he's about to send in Polywag. So now we get to send in old boy Bellsprout, and this man's Polywags are just about to get destroyed. Also, with the Miracle Seed making grass type moves stronger, you done, son. You done. You done messed up by versing me. We haven't heard. Bell sprouts the sheriff around these parts. Yeah, this polywag is about to get annihilated. Let me get your weekend and thunder moves. Doesn't matter, bro. Fire's power was weakened. Oh, well, you know, doesn't matter because Bell sprouts not learning any fire moves anytime soon. <sighs> One hit and it took him down. Yeah, like I said, uh, Bell sprout is definitely gonna have uh, fun right now <laughs> taking out these Pokemon. Uh, Bellsprout also gets a lot of experience. He does not need a lot of experience to level up. Probably because he's seen as a, a weaker type Pokemon. But, you know, we caught him because of Bellsprout Tower, you know. Repping, repping the originals. Woo oh, wait. Actually, we do not need to do that. Toted I'll see me. I still need to stay in the back. You made me lose that fish. Well, bro, you're about to be losing your lunch when Bellsprout comes in and slaps you up. Okay, he has four Pokemon, which means we're going to be on lower levels. We know the gist. Okay, Magikarp, this is not going to get Bellsprout hardly anything because Magikarp is weak, one of the weakest Pokemon. Yep, one hit and he's down. Twenty-one experience. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, somehow Bellsprout is still getting a decent amount from that. Like I said, he's seen as just a weaker type Pokemon, so he gets a lot more experience. But he's actually, he's actually really good. I'm looking at his stats and everything, and he actually beats Mag uh, Totodile in attack. Now, of course, do I think he's going to beat Croconoff? No, but, you know, Bellsprout also gets to evolve into a second uh, evolution before he gets to his third. So, out of the four Pokemon we have right now. Bellsprout uses Vine Whip. A critical hit. It's super effective. Bell Sprout, 63 experience. All right, there we go. 221201. See, Bell Sprout gets actually pretty. He actually learned to move rap. We will not be using that anytime. I mean, we could use it on uh, other Pokemon that aren't very really affected by um, uh, grass type moves. All right, send Trent, you're in. Okay. 
All right, let's get it. Quick attack. Like I said, Magic Carp's gonna go down easy, easy. I mean, yep, bro, do splash all you want. It's not gonna help you. And uh, I feel bad for Sentrent because he's not hardly going to get any experience for this. Yeah, that is terrible. Yep, let's go ahead and beat this Magikarp. Alright, almost. But nothing happened. All right, there goes him, down for the count. 21 experience. Her defeated, Fisherman Justin. Sploosh. All right. Time to change up Pokemon. Put Sintrim back in first. Hutu back in second. And Totodile still last. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. We shall see, but I will be the judge of that. Sent out Goldeen. Goldeen actually gives a, a lot of experience. Alright, you're doing water sport. Pretty sure that just makes fire types weaken. Still don't have a fire type Pokemon though, guys. If Sentrant can beat Goldeen, I'm pretty sure he'll actually get a, a nice level up. Defense Fell. We also have Defense Curl, so if we need to, we'll be able to do Defensive Curl. Use Peck. Okay, uh, you got a critical hit. You got Lucky. We have one potion. We're going to use it because you, you literally got a critical hit. There we go. Go ahead and do it again. Oh, you did Super Sonic, actually. Wish I could just get a critical hit, knock this Goldeen out of here. Peck again. And now quick attack and we're gonna beat you. Get out of here. All right, let's see how much uh, experience we get for taking her down. 236. Ooh, that's a good amount. Ah, man, I thought he might've got the level up. I tried to rush things. Well, bro, you know, you just got slapped. Don't young people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish. Well, if you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me. All right, we put his phone number in. That's great. I'm happy to have made a younger friend. Well, bro, what happened to teaching us how to fish? Oh, well, this guy's gonna battle us now. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I found, I think they'll do it for me. What do you have? A Mari? Oh, not freaking Whooper, Whooper, bro. I freaking hate Whooper. Oh, and there he goes doing that tail whip like all the Whoopers do, moving their little weird tail that they got. All right, go ahead and do quick attack. All right, he is just gonna keep lowering our defense. Water gun. I think we'll still be able to take him down. Even though he did uh, that move twice. Come on, come on, Sentrent. Don't be taking that mud shot. What is that gonna do? A little bit more damage than I was hoping. Speed fell. Come on, quick attack. We still got to get the quick attack. Yep. Woo! Send Trent and did it. The foe's whooper fainted. Send Trent gained 111. And we got the level 12. 2, 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. So he got good attack on that one. Two attack. All right. Player defeated. Youngster Gordon. Shucks. I thought I could win. Got 160 for winning. All right, guys, I will be right back. 
All right, hello everybody. We are back. Uh, sorry guys. Okay, so it turns out I figured something out and sorry this is in the middle of the video. Turns out for some reason this recorder, it kind of splits the recordings up and I can't do anything about it. I will try to find a different recorder, but I kind of don't want to right now because X recorder has a way better quality than Screencast-O-Matic did. Just even better visual colors than what Screencast-O-Matic did. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back into it. We still actually, I think we need to trade Centrant out. Yes, because he actually got a level up. We'll bring in Hoot Hoot, turn Bell Sprout there. Total Doll gets to be in front of Centrant now. And the egg is still back there in the back. But now let's go up here and see if we can find any more of these trainers. I don't know what this guy's doing. That glance, it's intriguing. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Like, I'm just a Pokemon trainer. Now you got one Pokemon, you're going down. All right, uh, a male Midorian. We already took out a female one that was stronger than this one. So I think this guy will be easy okay well who hoots attack miss which is something you never like seeing focus energy oh he's trying to get pumped the Fosnazorian is getting pumped well he can also go to sleep now like betty bye time to be done for and now who toots is going to slap this guy up just beat him is fast asleep wow a critical hit I'm about to say, man, Hoot Hoot putting in the work. All right, tackle. Okay, Hoot Hoot's attack missed. And the Nidorian is still fast asleep. Probably wake up after this one because they seem to wake up after three turns for some reason. Nope, still fast asleep. So we should be able to just body him. Tackle. And got him. All right. See how much experience we get. 115 wow that's more than what you get for beating a level 10 female i don't know why hmm this is disappointing you know if we caught a male nidorian i actually think that nido king is pretty cool like he he looks like visually like appealing he's like a cool looking pokemon all right so we don't gotta go anywhere else here hoot hoot and me traveling along the way the reason I caught Hoot Hoot is because I don't know how many of you know this. Uh, my friend Diajon knew him back whenever uh, me and Michael were both playing this game. Diajon loved Hoot Hoot, so you know, kind of caught him as a, like a throwback to Diajon. I don't know where he is. I hope he's doing good in life. He, uh, whatever he decided to do, you know, much respect to him. Uh, haven't seen the dude since, uh, you know, back when we were younger, uh, like... I think the last time I seen him was 7th grade. He was in 6th grade because he was in the same grade as Michael. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thanks for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Please come back again anytime. Alright. So let's go ahead and do this. Tag is sticking out. Alright, now this guy right here is going to be upset that we beat Falconer. Watch. That badge. It's from Violet City. You beat Falconer? Yeah, he's like, oh, you go can't believe you did that. I'm a bug. I'm a bug. No, uh, I got bird type Pokemon myself. Pidgey. Pidgey is no match for the awesome might of Hoot Hoot. Yeah, as you just see, we put the guy to sleep. And his Pidgey is fast asleep. Tackle. Whoa, he woke up after one hit. All right, don't back down, Hoot Hoot. You're a nighttime Pokemon. Pidgey's a daytime Pokemon. You can take him down. I would say that Pidgey's supposed to be a Pigeon, but we know that's not true. They actually made a Pigeon-type Pokemon in black. His name is Pidove. So I don't know what P Pidgey's supposed to be. Because, you know, they try to make a lot of Pokemon based on, like, real-life animals. Like, obviously, Growlithe is a tiger-looking type Pokemon. I did not mean to do Tackle. I thought that I clicked on uh, Hypnosis, but it'll be fine. We're going to take this guy out. We have Roost anyway if we need to use it. He's going to do Tackle 2. And I'm just going to do Tackle and take him out. Wow, our attack missed. But his attack hit, you know. I never did get that. Like, it's like, okay, our guy missed again. Come on, Hoot Hoot. You got big ass eyes. You shouldn't be missing like that. All right, 
70 experience. And I think after beating this one, we may actually, oh, a Sparrow. So we actually may get the level up here because Sparrow gives more than a, than Pidgey does. We're gonna do Roost. Get our life back up. There we go. Who who regained health. And now he's doing Leer because he's gonna try to make our defense. Yep, defense go down. Oh, we have Tackle. We probably should have put him asleep. We're gonna, that is gonna be, de de I was gonna say it's not very effective, but. Okay, Hypnosis missed. He's gonna do Growl. Now he's gonna make our attack go down. And I'm gonna do Hypnosis and I wanna put you to sleep. And nope, we actually still missed our attack. That is awesome. Dude, he is just gonna make our attack keep going down. Hypnosis. There we go, not hit. Now it should stay uh, on for a while because uh, his Pidgey woke up real quick. Sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes uh, if the computers get really lucky and their Pokemon wake up like that. We're gonna do Pekka now and see how much we'll do. Not a lot. <laughs> All right, we gotta try to take him down though. He did do Growl twice, so our attack is not what it would be. And the Sparrow woke up, he did Leer. Another hit to the defense. We're gonna do tackle again. And then after this attack, actually we may we may just be able to take him down. Please stay alive, please stay alive. There we go. That's what I like to see. Tackle. If he would have missed, I would have been upset. Alright, Spiro fainted. Who took gain 99 experience? There we go. Go to level 12. Stat wise. Two, zero, one, 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 one. I hate it when our attack goes up zero. Like, that just kind of sucks, you know? I know what my weaknesses are. Yeah, it's the fact that you praise Falconer. Oh, Falconer, I can't believe you beat Falconer. He's such a cool guy. Is he, though, bro? Is he? All right, Bellsprout's gonna go in here and just slap up any Pokemon we fight. Totodile as well, because now we're going into a into this cave where uh, Bellsprout and Totodile are just gonna thrive, honestly. So Union Cave, unless we fight some Fire type guys, then we're not gonna be thriving. All right, we'll fight this guy. Whoa! What a surprise! I didn't expect to see anyone here. Well, dude, there's literally a guy like not too far from you, so if you didn't expect to see anybody here, like you're blind. Hiker Daniel. Got the Onyx. Well, bro, your level 11 Onyx is very impressive. My level 11 Bell Spout will soon show you the way. What does that do? Defense harshly fell? Doesn't matter, broski. Rock types are not very effective to grass types, and grass types make rock types look weak. Harden. Well, bro, it's already too late for that. You're already done for. Defense Rose. Bellsprout, use Vine Whip. It's super effective. Yes, it is. And Onyx is done for. 253 experience. Well, you know, Bellsprout may have just got the level up right there. Yep. Wow, he actually got 3 HP. He has the same amount of health as Totodile. 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0. So Bellsprout is not a very fast Pokemon whatsoever. Whoa, I am beaten big time. Yeah, bro, Bellsprout made Onyx just look like a wimp. And Onyx is a tough Pokemon. All right, Totodile, your turn. You're obviously going to make people look weak because, of course... Waters are super effective to rock types. Now let's go ahead and fight this guy. You're headed to Azealia, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. Well, bro, you're about to get whooped. You have three Pokemon. Geodude. Chump change. Level four Geodude. Take a water gun, bro. Geodude's gonna start crying. Yep, and he's defeated. It's super effective. So I'll gain 61 experience. About to send in another Geodude. 
he's going down. Dude, Totodile's about to level up quick. Zentrant and Hoot Hoot are going to have a heck of a time here because they're normal types, and normal types are not good against rock types. So hopefully we're going to be able to get out of here quick because, uh, I mean, yeah, Hoot Hoot and Zentrant are going to do... Okay, well, you know, Totodile just got to level 13. 2, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1. Thought I wants to learn to move bite. Oh heck yes. That's a good move. Make it forget another move? Yes. Which move should we forget? Leer. Leer's not gonna do us any good anytime soon. We're already way past the point of using it. One, two, and poof. Totodile forgot how to use Leer. And Totodile learned bite. I'm pretty sure bite also gives a chance to flinch. Or maybe that's crunch. One of the two. Will you switch? Yes. Sentrant, show us what you're made of. And by doing this, we're also going to have to probably do like defensive curl because Geodude is a pretty uh, tough type Pokemon. So, Mud Sport, you can do that, man. It's just going to weaken electricity, which uh don't know why you would do that because uh, pretty sure electric doesn't even affect rock type Pokemon. Making our defense go up though that way so we can okay he's also doing defensive curl which we gotta stop doing it then because I'm not trying to be here all day. Quick attack. Yep, it's gonna take us a while to take him down. Okay, he's using rock polish to make his speed go up. Sharply rose, but if we got kick quick attack, so we can just keep doing this and we'll always get to attack first. Doesn't matter how quick your speed becomes. It's not very effective. Yep, keep doing that, you know. And this is going to be the, one of those longer battles because, uh, of course, like I said, normal types do nothing. Whew. Make him do rock smash. <laughs> and his defense went up even more, which is not good. Of course, he's going to keep making his defense go up, so he's just going to try to make his life high. We just, oh my gosh, we're only doing one damage. Hopefully we can get a critical or something and do a lot more damage. Please. It's not very effective use defensive curl again yeah this geodude is uh, not making our life easy by any means we can barely even do anything right now like before long every hit we do is gonna have to be a critical hit he keeps doing defense curl for some reason like we're already not doing enough damage as it is and he's just like oh, let me just cuck you a little bit why do you keep doing defensive curl Oh, thank God we got a critical hit. We may not have done a lot, but at least we did enough. Yeah, you're not doing a lot to us either. Our defensive curls kicked in as well. Oh my gosh, we are barely doing any damage whatsoever. Yeah, he's tackling now. We got to just take him out. Oh my gosh. We are barely doing damage at all. And it sucks. Oh, of course he got a critical hit. Because, you know, why wouldn't he? We're going to do defensive curl now. That way so we can have a little bit better defense. I'm probably going to have to use a, a potion or something. We should have uh, the super potion. Quick attack. Oh, my gosh. It definitely does suck not doing any damage whatsoever. And he's still doing three. While we're slowly taking him down. Hope you only did two that time. Alright, one more hit and he should be down. Take him down, send Trent. Please, end this, end this torture. Thank the Lord. It's over. 
it's not very effective. Yeah, bro, but he also did freaking defensive curl a whole bunch of times. Well, you should get more experience for that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why you were saying that. Oh, I lost. Who would have thought? If only I had... It won't have any effect. If only I had not sit there and done dumb moves. Maybe I would have survived. All right. Sentrant will now be in the lead, and Totodile goes back to the back since he's the highest level. I don't even know when that egg's gonna hatch. What does this guy have? A Magmar? Zubat Super Sonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Well, bro, you can also be upset when I destroy you, you fire breather. Oh, wait, this guy probably has coughing. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I wish I had a coughing for the team. Coughing. He's tackle. We should be able to take him out. I don't, yeah, coughing is not going to do a whole bunch of damage to us because he's on level six. He's poison gas. No, not poison gas. And Trader is hurt by poison. Now we're gonna go ahead and use that antidote just to get it, uh, get the poison off of him, because we really can't afford having that right now. He's probably just gonna tackle again, right? Nope, he did smog, and somehow smog poisoned us. That's freaking awesome. Don't know how. I mean, I I know what smog is, you know. But still, that's ridiculous. The fact that it, like, poisoned Sentrant. 145 experience. It's hurt by poison. Alright, keep battling. We're gonna try to take down this, uh... We're, it's uh, probably not gonna happen. Because with poison and everything, it's, uh... We're gonna do bad. And he did smog. Hurt by poison. All right, we might be able to do this. Maybe, just maybe. Probably not yet. The poison is definitely going to take Sentrent down, which is going to suck. Yeah, sucks, but it happens. Now we got to bring in Hoot Hoot, and so we don't have to worry about you know that anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and take him down with tackle. All right, now we need to go back and heal real quick because we, you know, we don't want to get Sentrant left behind. Fire breather, Bill. I flamed out. Yes, you did, bro. You, you done for. All right, hopefully we get through this cave soon. I think we're almost through, but we got to go back and heal real quick. We won't have to fight these guys again. Okay. And of course we would run into a Pokemon now. Yep, a level 6 Geodude. Hey, want to see something cool, Geodude? It's called getting away from you because we're on a higher level. We're a whole 6 levels ahead and we're still fighting level 6s. Alright, go back here. Good thing there's a Poke stop over, uh, a Poke, yeah, like, uh, you know, this is kind of just one of the Poke, uh, Poke places you forget about. Poke stop? I don't, don't even know what it's called right now. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Yep, go ahead and do it, bro. They need to come back to life. Well, Sentrant does. Everybody else survived. But Sentrant almost beat that coffin. Freaking poison was kind of unfair. The fact that I used an antidote and he did smog and he got poisoned right back after. Sounds kind of sus to me, bro. Alright, go ahead and go in here. And now we're back to running Union Cave. Oh my gosh. A Zubat. We're getting out of here. I'm not fighting a Zubat right now. I'm trying to get to the next town. Oh my gosh. Let me guess. A Ratatat? A level 4 Ratatat at that. Like... Nope, we are not doing that. Got away safely. What was in this Pokeball down here? 
a great ball. Well, you know, we're not going to be using that anytime soon. All right, now we got to fight this pokey maniac down here. No, we're not fighting no level six Rattatats. Like, you know, even if you level up, we're not catching you Rattatat. You're not worth the time. There we go, got his attention. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. You know what the funny thing is? This guy does not give us his phone number. Not the rival or nothing, bro. You're just about to get knocked out. What is it? A slow poke. Oh my gosh. This is not going to be a fun battle. Because Slowpoke has that move Curse. Not oh, they use the move Yawn. Alright, come on, Sinfrent. We gotta, we gotta do something here, broski. A critical hit. Sinfrent, you answered what I was telling you to do. Why would you use Yawn again? Alright, Sinfrent is asleep. We just gotta wait for him to wake up so we can try to attack this guy. Senator is fast asleep. Was he gonna do curse? Nope, he did growl. He actually made our attack go down. Curse is one of the worst moves to have done against you. Also, if this thing keeps using growl, yeah. So this is not gonna be a fun battle. This is not gonna be a fun battle at all. Centric, can you please wake up, bud? I need you to wake up. He's gonna keep doing growl to you, so it's gonna take forever. This is almost as bad as doing curse because uh, our attack is just constantly sinking. Right. He woke up. And he's barely doing damage. This is not cool at all. Okay. I see that like any Pokemon that Sentrent fights, just he he is getting cut severely. It kinda sucks. And that thing keeps just using growl. If he uses curse afterwards, I'm I'm done, bro. Like mm -mm. And not use yawn. Yep, that just is even better. Scratch. We're going to try to use scratch, see if that'll do anything. I mean, maybe it's doing more, but it failed. And yeah, Sin Trent is back asleep. Uh, this is not okay. Next thing you know, the thing's going to start using water gun or something. It still uses growl. This is not awesome at all. Come on, Sin Frank, you gotta wake up, bud. You gotta wake up. You'll get a level up. Hey, just think of that. You'll get a level up. Yes, he woke up. There we go. Scratch. Get it. All right, we just gotta get one more attack. And I used water again. Come on, Sentrent. For me, stay alive. Yeah, that's right, buddy. There we go. Quick attack. You're probably gonna get a level up. More than likely, I think you'd probably get a level up after that. Slowpoke fainted. Sentrent gained 232 experience. Come on, level up, level up. Yes, there we go. Level 13. 21, 34. All right. 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so. Centrum wants to learn the move Fury Swipes, but it can't learn more than four moves. Make it forget. Yeah, bro, we're going to forget Foresight. For sure, that move is kind of pointless. We're not fighting any ghost types anytime soon. 1, 2, and poof. Centrum forgot how to use Foresight, and Centrum learned Fury Swipes. There we go. Pokemaniac Larry. Ugh, my poor Pokemon. Bro, you, you made my life a living hell, bro. I don't care about the freaking slow poke. Sitting there doing that stupid stuff. All right, hopefully we're about out of the cave. Uh, of course, we're running into other Pokemon. These wild ones. A wild Geodude appeared. We're not going to really fight these guys because we really don't need to right now. I mean, of course, if it comes to a point where we have to, we'll, of course, come back and fight Pokemon. But, ah, uh, yes, just what I was looking for, the way out. Found an awakening. That would have been helpful fighting that Slowpoke. All right. We're out. What does this girl say? Pant, pant, I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I'd expected. I got too tired to explore the whole thing. So I came outside. All right, and now Hoot Hoot's gonna have to help us fight this guy right here. I came through the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. 
All right, bro. Well, let's see if you got plenty of energy left. One hoot hoot takes you down. Unless you got Geodude. Okay, well, level 11 Geodude. This is going to be fun. It started to rain. No, I didn't want to do tackle right off the bat. Okay, we're not doing any damage, actually. Hold up. We may have to bring in Bellsprout to help. Yeah, we're bringing in Bellsprout because Hoot Hoot is not going to be able to take this guy down. All right, Bellsprout, time for you to come and help Hoot Hoot. You guys are going to have to split experience here because a level 11 Geodude is just a little bit too much. What's he going to do now? Rock Polish, yeah, that Geodude's trying to make his make it where he's just the fastest Geodude in the West. Rain continues to fall. All right, Vine Whip. Mud Sport, trying to weaken electricity moves. Well, bro, there's no electricity moves here. All right, Vine Whip. Yeah, took him down in one hit. Bell Sprout is useful. Geodude's fainted. Well, the Geodude fainted. 85 experience. Ooh, that's a big cut in experience, honestly. But it doesn't matter. Hi, right, Grant. It's about to send in Matchop. Oh, Matchop is about to get laid waste. Now, who, who can do a lot of damage here because flying types are super effective to fighting types. I love Matchop, but the one thing I like more than Matchop is winning battles. All right, let's take him down. Peck. It's super effective, but barely did any damage. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. We're going to take this match up down. Rain continues. I love how it just... Rain continues to fall. Like, yes, bro, it's we're in an area that's raining. Rain is going to continue to fall. It's super effective. Use low kick. That's eh, not going to do a lot. Whoa, that, you know, did more damage than I thought it was going to do. Peck. And come on, just take him down. Take him down. Get him out of here. End the battle. Woo! <laughs> it's super effective. Yes, it is. 175. Ah, who, who's so close to getting a level up? Whoa, you got more zip than me. I don't even know what that means, bro. By the way, I'm a hiker, so I often go to the mountains and caves. I don't usually go to the town. I bet you uh, go to all kinds of towns on your journey, don't you? You know, if we were to trade phone numbers, then we could exchange all kinds of information, yes? Yep. Register the phone number in the Poke Gear. I'll give you a call when I think of a good uh, heartwarming story, okay? Now, we gotta get to this town here, and we gotta... Go, go, oh, 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 first encounter with Team Rocket. Who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thud. He pushes that old man. All right, let's talk to the Team Rocket guy. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good Samaritan? Uh, you don't even belong here, bro. All right, here we are at the uh, Pokey. Um... Oh, well, you know, it's kind of hard to make him stand there when he's moving all over. All right, here's what we'll do so we can uh, end the video properly. I'm trying to do it like I did it last time. All right, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this video and everything. Sorry that it took me a second just to do that there at the end. Uh, yeah, guys, but this is going to be the end for this video and everything. We made it to the next town, uh, Azealia Town, which, of course, you know, I thank you guys for, you know, who are watching this and everything. makes me really happy that I can play an older game and some people still view it and everything because, you know, it's fun to go back and revisit older games like this that came out you know back in 2009 but anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here of course if you all did enjoy as always and i will see you all in the next video hey but until then though peace out and have a good one Woo!